how your dish will look, plus all the ingredients you need to cook. Could you cook an entire meal on it? Mm hmm Several things at once. Sausage and eggs. Ever look around your house and think, I wish we still had those quirky gadgets from the 70s? Well, you're not alone. The 1970s marked an era of distinctive fashion, disco tunes, and some notably unconventional appliances. From cathode ray tube TVs to space age kitchen marvels, these gadgets brought a whole new level of excitement to our homes. Join us as we uncover 13 wacky appliances from the 1970s we need to bring back. Ever think about what your can opener goes through? Well, ours goes through. One notable innovation of the 1970s was the electric can opener, a symbol of modern convenience that made the once tedious task of opening canned goods effortless. This groundbreaking device originated in the mid 20th century, with its first patent granted in 1931. Inspired by the design of the rotating wheel can opener, early versions claimed to effortlessly open over 20 cans per minute, a feature that initially did not resonate with consumers. Nevertheless, the electric can opener staged a comeback in 1956 thanks to the efforts of two American companies. Klassen Enterprises introduced a wall-mounted version, and Walter Hess Bottles significantly contributed with a freestanding model that included an electric can opener and a knife sharpener. Bottles' creation, meticulously crafted by his daughter Elizabeth in their garage, entered the market under the stylish Utico brand. Featuring trendy colors such as flamingo pink, avocado green, and aqua blue. Timed perfectly for the holiday season, these colorful openers captured widespread attention and quickly gained popularity in households nationwide. Did you know there are hidden gems from the 1970s that could transform your daily routines? Keep watching to find out. Embracing the festive spirit of home gatherings, the electric ice crusher became a cherished companion for those who enjoyed playing host. This clever gadget added a touch of style to home entertaining by making crushing ice effortless and enjoyable. Imagine the scene, glasses clinking, friends laughing, and the gentle hum of the electric ice crusher in the background. Serving as a crucial tool for preparing refreshing cocktails and chilled beverages, this appliance brought excitement to every social event. No longer tethered to manual methods, households now had a sleek and efficient solution for crafting the perfect ice for drinks. The appeal of the electric ice crusher went beyond its practicality. Its streamlined design and user-friendly features made it a standout feature in kitchens nationwide. Guests admired the seamless combination of form and function as the machine effortlessly turned ice into a finely crushed symphony of crystals. And I don't have to keep running back and forth from the kitchen to keep an eye on the road. I can be part of the party too. The Toast R Oven, a distinctive and clever appliance originating from the 1970s, seamlessly combined the functionalities of a toaster and an oven. It offered a versatile solution for quick and efficient baking and toasting. During a period marked by a heightened awareness of energy conservation, the toast R oven emerged as a practical and energy-efficient alternative to traditional appliances. In the 1970s, households sought ways to simplify their kitchen setups while maintaining efficiency. The toast R oven addressed this demand by providing a compact, dual-purpose solution that saved space and reduced energy consumption. This dual functionality allowed users to quickly toast their morning bread or bagels and utilize the oven feature for smaller baking tasks, eliminating the need for a full-sized oven for minor culinary endeavors. Moreover, Toast R Oven features a user-friendly design, making it accessible to many consumers. Its straightforward controls and compact size made it a suitable addition to various layouts and sizes of kitchens. The appliance symbolized practicality and convenience during an era when households embraced technological innovations to simplify daily tasks. Beyond its functional advantages, the Toast R Oven represented the technological optimism of the time, where inventive minds sought creative solutions to enhance everyday life. Reflecting on this unique yet brilliant appliance from the 1970s evokes a nostalgic desire to reintegrate such inventive designs into our modern kitchens for their practical benefits and as a tribute to the innovative spirit that characterized that era. Which far-out appliance might make a comeback in our tech-savvy era? Brace yourself for more. Do you know what happens when you percolate coffee?
A percolator reboils and recycles the coffee, which can make coffee bitter. The coffee percolator, a vital fixture in American households, has long been associated with the robust and distinct flavor of brewed coffee, accompanied by its characteristic bubbling soundtrack during brewing. Serving as a dedicated pot for coffee preparation, the percolator employs a unique method of continuously circulating near boiling brew through coffee grounds via gravity until the desired strength is achieved. A key feature of the coffee percolator is its use of a perforated metal filter basket to contain the coffee grounds. This clever design ensures thorough flavor extraction while keeping the grounds in place. This meticulous process contributes to the percolator's reputation for delivering a bold and rich cup of coffee. While the coffee percolator once enjoyed widespread popularity, its dominance was challenged in the early 1970s with the introduction of automatic drip brew coffee makers. The convenience and user-friendly nature of the new technology influenced this shift. Notably, percolators expose coffee grounds to higher temperatures, potentially recirculating already brewed coffee through the grounds, making coffee more prone to overextraction. Despite declining mainstream popularity, Fervent percolator enthusiasts argue that mastering the art of percolation involves careful and precise control of the brewing process, eliminating potential pitfalls. According to them, when executed with finesse, the percolator's distinctive brewing style can produce a cup of coffee that stands unparalleled in its boldness and depth of flavor. But wait, there's more. Oh, oh dear. Since I have my Vulcan fitted, people seem to drop in more. Transport yourself back to an era when central heating was a luxury not everyone could afford. Enter the space heater, a portable savior that quickly became a household hero for those chilly corners of the home yearning for coziness. Its popularity soared as families sought refuge from the cold, transforming any space into a toasty haven. The charm of the 1970s space heater lies not only in its functional warmth, but also in its design, a quirky mix of retro aesthetics and practicality. These compact companions symbolized adaptability, easily maneuvering to wherever warmth was needed most. Picture it, a cozy evening by the fireplace, augmented by the gentle hum of the trusty space heater, providing an extra layer of snugness. In our current age of smart homes and advanced technology, there's an evident yearning for the simple yet efficient appliances of the past. The 1970s space heater, known for its direct and effective way of keeping things warm, has the potential to fit into our modern lives smoothly, connecting functionality with a retro chic charm. So why not bring back this iconic piece of the past? Imagine the joy of rediscovering the simplicity and warmth it brings, transcending time to become a charming addition to our contemporary homes. After all, in a world filled with innovation, sometimes the key to comfort lies in the timeless classics. Are you curious to explore the bygone treasures that could make your home the talk of the town? Then check out this next item. The food processor, a culinary breakthrough in the 1970s, transformed cooking by introducing a versatile kitchen tool that swiftly handles chopping, blending, and mixing. Since its debut, the food processor has become an essential kitchen companion, securing a permanent spot in households worldwide. In the 1970s, the arrival of the food processor marked a significant shift from traditional food preparation methods. Equipped with a potent motor and various interchangeable blades and attachments, this kitchen marvel simplified labor-intensive tasks like chopping vegetables, grinding nuts, and kneading dough. Its multifunctional capabilities streamlined cooking, saving time and effort for home chefs. A standout feature that elevated the food processor's culinary status was its ability to deliver consistent and precise results. The appliance's sharp blades and adjustable settings empowered users to control ingredient texture and size, ensuring a uniform blend or chop. This consistency enhanced dish aesthetics and elevated the overall quality of prepared meals. Beyond its kitchen efficiency, the food processor democratized culinary skills. Home cooks of varying expertise could effortlessly tackle complex recipes and explore diverse cuisines. This democratization of culinary prowess nurtured a new generation of passionate cooks, fostering a love for experimentation and creativity in the kitchen. As the food processor gained popularity, manufacturers refined its design and functionality.
Additional features like safety interlocks, variable speed controls, and larger capacities were introduced to meet evolving consumer needs. The food processor evolved into more than a time-saving device. It became a symbol of culinary innovation, influencing how people approached home cooking. A timeless treasure from the 1970s deserving a resurgence in contemporary kitchens is the beloved fondue pot. Beyond being a mere cooking vessel, this delightful appliance was the focal point for communal dining experiences, facilitating shared meals featuring luscious melted cheese or decadent chocolate. Fondue pots, also recognized as cacolons, played a pivotal role in uniting people for collective culinary enjoyment. The term cacolon has an intriguing history, originating from a Swiss-French term with roots dating back to the 18th century, derived from the East French dialect word cacol. The German kachel, meaning glazed tile, signifies a cooking vessel crafted from stoneware, ceramic, enameled cast iron, or porcelain designed explicitly for preparing fondue. This inventive creation gained popularity in Switzerland and left its mark on the culinary traditions of France's Franche-Comte and Provence regions. The craftsmanship evident in Caclon construction includes a bottom thickness that prevents the burning of melted cheese when placed over a spirit burner at the dining table. Yet one charming quirk of the fondue experience is forming an encrusted layer of cheese on the bottom known as Grossmutter in German and La Religieuse in French. This delightful residue is released when the fondue is thoroughly enjoyed, creating a shared moment of indulgence among diners. As we reflect on the whimsical appliances of the 1970s, the fondue pot emerges as a culinary tool and a symbol of shared gastronomic adventures, bridging cultures and fostering enduring memories around the dining table. Perhaps it's time to reintroduce this timeless classic into our homes, reviving the joy of communal dining in a simple yet elegant manner. Do you remember the cathode ray tube TV from the 70s? Let's explore its evolution. Before the era of sleek flat-screen televisions, the cathode ray tube TV was the standard for home entertainment, occupying a central place in family living rooms. This iconic television technology, recognized for its bulky appearance and distinctive curved screen, played a pivotal role in shaping the collective memories of numerous households. The CRT TV, utilizing vacuum tube technology, brought moving images and audio into homes worldwide representing a significant advancement in the evolution of visual media. Families gathered around these televisions, eagerly anticipating their favorite shows, creating a communal experience synonymous with domestic life. The cathode ray tube was an engineering marvel, employing electron beams to scan and illuminate phosphorescent pixels on the screen, generating vibrant, moving images that captivated audiences. The warm glow of the CRT screen, accompanied by the gentle hum of the television set, set the stage for shared moments of laughter, suspense, and joy within the family unit. These TVs were more than just devices. They were storytellers, narrating tales that brought people together. Adjusting antennas or fine-tuning dials became familiar parts of the television-watching routine, fostering engagement and connection with the technology. As we reflect on the evolution of home entertainment, the cathode ray tube TV serves as a nostalgic symbol of a bygone era. While the sleek designs of modern flat-screen televisions have taken over, the CRT TV remains etched in our memories. A testament to an era when family living rooms transformed into theaters and the shared experience of watching television was a cherished tradition. Have you ever pondered the genius behind the eight-track player? Let's uncover the quirky details. My fellow music lovers, my music machines. Embark on a journey through nostalgia as we revisit the captivating era of eight-track players, those quirky devices that graced the 1970s and warrant a resurgence in our modern lives. Within music history, eight-track players once held a ubiquitous presence in households and automobiles, serving as the preferred technology for sound recording from the mid-1960s to the early 1980s. Imagine the 8-track tape, formerly known as Stereo 8, a magnetic tape marvel that captivated music enthusiasts across the United States, Canada, and, to a lesser extent, the United Kingdom. 
Its unique appeal lies in its capacity to play continuously in an endless loop, sparing users the inconvenience of ejecting, flipping, and reinserting the tape to enjoy the entire playlist. After approximately 80 minutes of melodic bliss, the tape seamlessly restarted from the beginning, eliminating the need for rewinding. The listener's control over the experience was limited yet impactful, with options such as play, fast-forward record, and program change at their fingertips. The inception of the Stereo 8 cartridge dates back to 1964, marked by a collaborative effort led by Bill Lear of Lear Jet Corporation. This consortium, which included industry giants like Ampex, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, Motorola, and RCA Victor Records, birthed an innovation that became an emblematic symbol of its era. Though the 8-track tape format has faded into obsolescence, a dedicated community of collectors is breathing new life into these relics by refurbishing both tapes and players. Notably, some contemporary artists have embraced the retro allure, releasing albums like Cheap Tricks The Latest in 2009 and Dolly Parton's A Holly Dolly Christmas 2020 on 8-track, complete with exclusive bonus tracks. Can you recall the nostalgic days when families gathered around the TV with blank tapes, eager to capture the magic of their favorite shows on VHS recorders? Stick around for more. The VHS recorder, a trailblazer in home entertainment, introduced a transformative dimension that permanently altered how families experienced their favorite TV shows and movies. During the peak of this iconic device, the ability to record and replay content became a game changer, going beyond the limits of traditional viewing experiences. Envision a time when families eagerly gathered around the television, armed with blank tapes ready to capture the magic of their preferred programs. The VHS recorder allowed them to curate personalized playlists, effortlessly preserving cherished moments for future enjoyment. This pioneering technology granted users the freedom to control their viewing schedules and created a sense of nostalgia that continues to resonate today. The impact of the VHS recorder went beyond mere functionality. It became a cultural phenomenon, influencing how households interacted with visual media. This unassuming device transformed living rooms into personal theaters, where the excitement of recording a live broadcast or assembling a collection of beloved movies became a cherished ritual. While the VHS recorder has gracefully exited the mainstream, its legacy perseveres. Among the timeless treasures worthy of a revival in our modern lives is the iconic rotary phone, a true gem in the realm of telecommunication. Picture the joy of rotating the dial to connect with loved ones, each satisfying click echoing the anticipation of a meaningful conversation. The unmistakable ringing sound and audible melody of connection turned answering calls into a delightful experience. The rotary phone isn't just a technological artifact, it's a nostalgic journey, a tangible link to a bygone era. Its retro aesthetics add a touch of vintage elegance to any space, serving as a reminder of a simpler time when communication had a tangible and intentional touch. Bringing back the rotary phone into our tech-driven world could be a refreshing step toward a more deliberate and meaningful communication experience. Amid our digital whirlwind, the rotary phone stands as a charming reminder of the beauty found in the deliberate, unhurried pace of the past. In the vibrant 1970s, a culinary revolution unfolded with the introduction of the Crock-Pot, a clever appliance that seamlessly blended convenience with delectable home-cooked goodness. As the pioneer of slow cookers, this kitchen gem quickly became an essential tool for crafting hearty stews, savory soups, and a variety of slow-cooked culinary delights. The Crock-Pot wasn't just a kitchen device, but a culinary time traveler transporting busy households to a realm where sumptuous meals effortlessly simmered to perfection. Its impact extended beyond the kitchen, symbolizing a shift in lifestyle, a departure from the hectic pace of life to a more thoughtful, deliberate approach to nourishing ourselves. Now envision bringing back this culinary maestro from the 1970s, reviving its timeless charm and culinary prowess, Imagine the delightful blend of savory aromas filling homes, bringing back the happiness of communal meals and the ease of preparing nourishing dishes. But wait, we're not done yet. The Radar Range, a pioneering microwave oven, marked a new era in swift and convenient cooking during the 1970s. 
As one of the first microwaves accessible to the public, the radar range stood out as a kitchen marvel, fundamentally changing the landscape of meal preparation. Envision a time when the kitchen evolved into a culinary haven, all thanks to the ingenuity of the radar range. With its rapid defrosting, reheating, and cooking capabilities, it became the epitome of time-saving brilliance, providing a break from the time-consuming processes of traditional cooking methods. Introducing the radar range wasn't merely about culinary efficiency. It represented a shift in how we approached daily nourishment. Its sleek design and futuristic features captivated the imagination of a generation, transforming routine kitchen tasks into moments of culinary delight. Now picture bringing back this technological pioneer, infusing a touch of its futuristic charm into our modern kitchens. Could the revival of the radar range initiate a resurgence of quick and convenient cooking, bridging the gap between culinary efficiency and the demands of contemporary life?